types of anxiety and depression. Psychiatrists still diagnose depression and anxiety much the same way they have done 150 years ago. A person goes to the doctor, describes his or her symptoms, and gets a prescription, usually an antidepressant or anti-anxiety medication. Unfortunately, this approach is a failure in many cases, because the doctor does not determine which underlying biological process is causing the person's symptoms. This is a critical missing piece of the diagnostic puzzle over the last two and a half decades of studying the brain. Choosing the same treatment for everyone diagnosed with anxiety or depression will never work, and is a major reason so many people fail to get relief of their symptoms. Spect imaging of the brain shows that depression and anxiety are not just single or simple disorder, but rather there are seven different types based on different patterns in the brain, and each requires its own treatment. The first type is pure anxiety. People who struggle with pure anxiety tend to feel anxious, tense, nervous and uncomfortable in their own skin. Often overwhelmed with feelings of panic, self-doubt, and predicting the worst. They also suffer from the physical symptoms of anxiety, such as muscle tension, nail biting, headaches, abdominal pain, racing heart, and shortness of breath. Pure anxiety is thought to be caused by low levels of the neurotransmitter GABA and high activity in the basal ganglia, insular cortex, and amygdala. Type 2 is a pure depression. Typically characterized by persistent sadness, negativity, and a loss of interest in things that are usually pleasurable. People with pure depression often have periods of crying for little reason, feelings of isolation or loneliness, sleep or appetite changes, low energy, low self-esteem, and even suicidal thoughts. Pure depression can be caused by lower dopamine levels, overactivity in the deep limbic system, or low activity in the frontal lobes. Type 3 is mixed anxiety and depression. This is a combination of both pure anxiety and pure depression. Here both symptom clusters are present on a regular basis, one type may predominate at any point in time. Actually, pure anxiety and pure depression are pretty rare by themselves. Whereas mixed anxiety and depression is very common, as anxiety and depression run together 75% of the time. Type 4 is overfocused anxiety and depression. In this type features of anxiety and depression, plus a tendency to get stuck on anxious or depressing thoughts or negative behaviors is seen. People with this type tend to worry, hold grudges, and be argumentative and critical. Typically, Overfocused anxiety and depression is caused by too much activity in the anterior cingulate gyrus with a lower serotonin levels. This type tends to occur more frequently in children or grandchildren of alcoholics. Type 5 is temporal lobe anxiety and depression. Usually this type occurs as a result of a head injury or seizures and associated with low GABA levels. Because the temporal lobes are very important for memory moods, and emotions, problems in this part of the brain can cause people to have mood instability, irritability, memory problems, and dark, frightening or evil thoughts. They might also have trouble in reading social cues, experience frequent deja vu, and misinterpret comments as negative, even if they are not. Type 6 is cyclic anxiety and depression. This type includes bipolar disorder, cyclothymia, milder mood swings, seasonal mood changes, and severe PMS, called premenstrual dysphoric disorder, PMDD. Times of stress can also trigger a cycle. As with the other types, cyclic anxiety and depression is a spectrum disorder, it may be a mild form, a very severe form, or anything in between. This type of depression is related to lower levels of GABA, but it might also be caused by too much of an excitatory neurotransmitter called glutamate. Type 7 is unfocused anxiety and depression. Commonly with this type there is decreased activity in the brain, especially in the prefrontal cortex, the part of the brain that helps with attention span, forethought, impulse control, organization, motivation, and planning. People with unfocused anxiety and depression often complain of low energy brain fog, 
being inattentive, bored and impulsive, and exhibiting poor judgment. The causes of the lower activity in the brain may be the result of an injury, toxic exposure to mold, near drowning, infection, medications, an underlying attention deficit disorder, or other medical illnesses. Thank you.